Do you need to classify the image using the unsupervised method? In this video, we will teach you the different types of unsupervised classification methods in the simplest possible way. We import our desired image into the software. Apply radiometric correction to the image. After performing radiometric correction, we proceed to atmospheric correction of the image. Here we convert the DN of the images to the range between 0 and 1 using the following formula.
To start the classification, we search classification in the search section. And we select the first option, classification workflow. Enter the image we need to be classified. We can insert a mask to cut the area. In the next step, we choose the classification method. Because our method is unsupervised, the first option will be our choice. We can specify the number of classes we want. As well as some parameters that we can determine based on our need. This unsupervised classification is the ISO data classification. For the output, we can select a kernel to smooth the image. We can save the output of the classification according to the format we want. Unsupervised classification was performed here. A good feature of using this tool is that it converts classification into vectors and we can easily use this vector in our work. The next classification is the ISO data. We select our image.
we determine the minimum and maximum classes and required parameters. Unsupervised ISO data classification is observable here. The last method of unsupervised classification is the K-means method. We select our image. and determine the number of classes. Unsupervised K-means classification is observable. We can see the difference in outputs.